Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this lecture. Uh, so in this lecture, um, we'll look at how to uh, import uh, Landsat A data and apply a cloud masking algorithm to remove uh, cloud contamination. So we'll look at the Landsat data on the Earth Engine library, and we'll look at uh, Landsat A data and um, import that. Um, actually, we'll be using the raw data and apply some cloud um, cloud um, removal algorithm using the Earth Engine API. So let's get started. So the first thing is, let's pull that uh, Landsat data, uh, Landsat 8 data. So we have multiple Landsat 8 data. Uh, and I'll be using uh, for now just, uh, you know, the raw scenes. I'll import that here. And uh, I'll name it Landsat um, Landsat 8 uh, row, something like that. And so that will import the data automatically. It created a variable here, uh, Landsat 8 row. So this is the image collection. Uh, before we do um, anything to this data, let's just uh, create actually um, a subset region of interest um, because this is a global data and it makes sense to, um, you know, focus on a smaller um, subset region. So for that purpose, I'll import uh, countries um, boundary data, uh, which is a world, uh, you know, uh, administrative boundary for all countries around the world. And this will, uh, you know, import that. And I'll actually filter that by a country. In this case, I'll use uh, an example here, Uganda. And so um, before we visualize the Landsat data, let's uh, actually um, create some, some sort of visualization here. And this is a you know, true color um, combination, band four, three, and two for Landsat eight. Uh, you know, the red, uh, green, and blue bands. And after that, actually, let's, um, let's uh, import the, um, you know, the Landsat data. Actually, we, we did that, so we don't need this, um, this part. But um, let's just um, get rid of that here. So instead of that, I'll use um, L8 row. So we don't need to, um, you know, memorize the um, image collection ID and whatnot. I mean, that's optional, but in this case, I'll, 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 I'll show you or demonstrate um, uh, in terms of how we can import uh, image collection using the search bar here and just apply it here. So we're tim simply copying this here, pasting here, and then apply filter bounds. And so after that, this is the function, okay? So we're writing a function here. What we're doing is here is the Earth Engine. EE is Earth Engine, right? Earth Engine algorithms Landsat simple composite. That's an Earth Engine built-in function, a simple cloud removal algorithm um, using um, um, uh, Radiance data. So let's look at that actually. Um, so the Landsat simple, okay. Landsat simple, um, it's where's that? Do, 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 let's check it here. All right, so we should find it in algorithms here. Okay, okay, Landsat here. So let's just go to Landsat, all right? So these are all algorithms that deal with, you know, Landsat data. Let's just change the zoom in label here a little bit. So if you look at all of this, if you look at all of these algorithms, they are related to Landsat. So EE algorithms Landsat. So you can use this um, Landsat TOA, top of atmospheric reflectance and calibration radiance and whatnot. So in our case, we'll be using um, the simple, um, simple um, you know composite to remove uh, you know cloud contamination so you have to you don't have to uh, define you know parameters and uh, you know different um, um, criteria to remove um, cloud 
it will automatically does that. So the simple composite algorithm, it's pretty neat. And so once you apply that in the function, you just, it needs a collection, right? So your collection here is the uh, Landsat 8, which you already imported, right? And you will filter that by date because it's a long time series data, right? So I'll focus here only for 2070. That is from January to December of 2070, okay? And I'll keep, uh, I'll keep it um, as float. And finally, I'll display that um, here so using the map add layer function. And so what I'm calling here is the composite, right? So I'll clip it by my steady region here. I've already defined my steady region here. And so this will um, import that image. Uh, so it will, it will generate a single image from a time series. Uh, and it will take the, the best cloud, you know, the best uh, cloud free pixel in that time series and just um, uh, generate a, a pretty nice looking uh, cloud free uh, mosaic and this is a true color viz um, you can uh, import that color visualization parameter here and um, I'll limit as Landsat composite right so this is the name um, as it shows here once this is done it will show uh, something like this Landsat composite and finally let's adjust the zoom level here uh, by using map center object and I'll call ROI. So I want it to zoom into my region of interest here. That's what I'm doing here. You can adjust the zoom level here. So the lower the zoom level is, uh, it will zoom out um, of that location. And if you have higher uh, zoom, uh, zoom level here, it will zoom into that steady area, okay? And let's go ahead and execute this. Okay, so now we have our um, cloud free image. So here you go, fantastic. So this is, um, so this is, uh, it's loading here. Let me just use that. So this is, um, you know, how you can apply the Earth Engine built in uh, EE algorithms, Landsat Simple Composite to just simply generate um, a nice. Uh, looking image, a cloud-free image um, for any any location on 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 the planet, right? So that's pretty neat. Um, so if you look at here, if you look at here, that you can see here, you can zoom in here. It's pretty neat, right? Um, and you, I mean, you don't have cloud contamination. What they did is. It tried to select um, the best um, uh, cloud-free pixel for for that that specific lot long location uh, within the year. So what it is doing is just generating a cloud-free mosaic, which is looking pretty nice, right? So this is an annual um, image that represents for the entire year, um, and that's pretty. Um, and you know you have to be careful that this not necessarily cannot be applied for analysis or research because you're technically taking for example if your study uh, requires some sort of seasonality or temporal uh, uh, analysis this is not the best um, way to to generate the Landsat data but this is just for simply visualizing um, some cloud-free uh, image using you know Landsat 8 um, and for some, you know, visualization exploratory um, uh, purpose. And so that's how you apply a simple, uh, the Earth Engine built-in um, simple cloud-free uh, algorithm using the Earth Engine uh, JavaScript API.